Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're looking at the Talking Pennywise the Clown by Factory Entertainment. Um, it's a 10 inch statue of obviously Pennywise from the movie It. So first we'll take a look at the box. So we got like the statue there which is looks pretty good. You got like the eyes and some like blue under it and the nose looks fairly round and that, that looks like teeth. That looks like really good teeth right there. We'll get that in a moment. Um, it looks like real teeth. Um, right here features dialogue digitally mastered from the motion pictures. Picture. We'll get into that as well. That's a that's a big talking point. Um, includes the batteries. Cool. Not a lot of figures do that. So it's a premium motion statue. If you don't know what that is, get ready for it. So we'll take a look at the box. And on the side, you got the poster from the movie, which is awesome. I love this poster. I think it looks amazing. Um, on the back of it, same thing, even in English as well, same thing on that side. On top, it says, It, the movie, Talkie Pennywise the Clown. Bottom, it just has a couple little cautions. And this is not a toy, this is a collector's item. So let's get into opening this guy. So this is the statue, stands about, I'd say around 10 inches, maybe not not 12 inches, but fairly, very close. Um, so, as you see, it's just a statue, exactly kind of what you see on the box, but not, there's, a, there's quite a bit of difference, so I'll, I'll start getting into it. Um, so, this is made out of polystone or some type of uh, ceramic. Take those out if it don't fall. Um, this is made out of a plastic. It's got a weird weight shift to it. Hopefully it doesn't fall off or anything like that, but you never know. Um, these are also made out of ceramic. So I paid $180 for this figure. $180. This is the first figure I reviewed that I did not enjoy. So let's get into this. Okay, so premium motion statue says it right there on the box. Um, that's it. That's your. That's your. That, this is your premium motion right there. That's it. You get that much premium motion. If you're looking for motion, it doesn't get any better than that. Not even. Not even a big issue. I don't even really care about the whole motion thing. Second point is um, features dialogue digitally mastered from the motion picture. Let's see this digitally mastered audio. It's not, it's not the audio with the camera. You actually can't, I can't hear what he's saying. It's, it sounds like he, it's the scene where he's saying, kill them all, but it's so muffled, I can't hear jack shit. And maybe it's just that one. It's a very, very muffled. Maybe they're trying to distort the sound so they don't have to pay rights to it. I don't know. So the bass says, it the movie. And in the, oh, it's got a little claw. Kinda neat. That's the only thing that's neat about this. And so, obviously not the best audio. But let's get to this fucking pain application. Okay, we're gonna get a close up of this face. Look how horrible this lip pain is on it. And these aren't real teeth right here. That's just white little dots painted over the lipstick. Even right there as well. Um, close up, it looks pretty bad. That blue under the eye you see on the box is just black. It's not blue. Um, let's see, is there any other eye color in this thing? These look like actual eyeballs. It looks like there's like a color on it. But this is just a black, just black. Just, just a black ball. Um, this is a metallic paint, which looks looks bad. It looks really bad. It looks like um, they wanted to go with a light green, and they decided that's a bad idea, so they just painted a little bit over top. Like this looks like actual like this looks fine. This looks like someone used a paintbrush and painted it. Um, Pennywise's uh, shirt was not 
have any metallic to it, so I don't understand why it has this metallic shine to it. This right here also has a weird metallic shine to it. Following that as well, um, these these balls right here are painted terribly. That one, it, see how it's not even on the thing? It kind of it comes off because the guy who painted this is a fucking idiot. The back here. Not bad, not bad. This is decent texture in the hair. Uh, apparently these are limited, but there are no limited number stamps on these. If I picked this up for 80 bucks, I wouldn't be making a big deal about this. 80 bucks, I think that's a good statue for 80 bucks. I paid 180 bucks for this. I'm gonna show you something real quick. I bought this the other day for 160 bucks. So I paid $20 less, and I got a fully articulated Spider-Man from the movie, The Amazing Spider-Man. Look at the detail in this head sculpt. I know it didn't retail for this. And don't worry, this will not be going secondhand as 180, because I can't even sell it for that at the moment. Um, ooh, look at this little paint around here. Just done with a little brush. You can even actually see the brush strokes, because right there, it's light, and then it gets dark. Like, this is fucking amateur hour on this goddamn thing. I reached out to the company because of this, this doesn't even have this stupid little thing around the feet, as you can see right there. Nope. And this is a completely different orange as well. This actually is metallic paint. Um, the eyes are different. These look like teeth. Uh, his head's, unless the picture was taken like this, like on a slant, because you can't see it like that. Like, the teeth look terrible, the lips look terrible, uh, nose is actually pretty good, that's the only compliment I'll give this figure, the eyebrows are fine, they look like stickers, um, paint around here is m mediocre, um, if I paid 80 bucks for this, I wouldn't be having this conversation, I'd be pretty stoked I got this for 80 bucks, I paid 180 bucks, I don't think that this quality is up to the price they're asking for. Especially because this is very misleading to this. Uh, it's tilted forward more, so you have to be either high up or you, you don't really get to see him head on. There's different paint applications used on this and there is on this. Um, the audio that they say is digitally mastered sounds like hogwash. Uh, one of the only things that they did say, right, is the batteries that are included. So that, that is real. And this premium motion right there. So, premium motion, that's fucking stupid. For the hand move and you're calling this a premium motion statue? It's not even a fucking bobblehead. That must be like a quadruple motion statue at this fucking point. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> the box design is really nice because they use the poster. That's, that's what I like. Um, this looks better than that. Um, the picture also, when I ordered this figure, was about this big on the on the preview so imagine that further further away it actually looks really nice um pennywise does not get a lot of things made this is the first statue that i know of that is not a custom but made by a company so these are the first people that got the first rights to use this um so i was excited when i ordered it i was like yeah we're getting a pennywise statue sweet i'm gonna f i'm ordering it because it's pennywise uh, I think it was going to look like the picture, but maybe it was because the picture was so far away or fake that I expected a different statue. Obviously, I got this thing. The balloons are fine. They're just held on by metal wire. I don't have a problem with the balloons, but balloons are not why I bought this figure. I reached out to the company, letting them know um, very professionally and a little bit upset that I was not a fan of the statue. and why I believe that I should get a refund for basically being duped by their company. I was informed that they cannot give me a refund, but to talk to my distributor, my distributor that I got it from told me, I can't return it unless it's broken. I can't even sell this thing at the moment because it looks so terrible. For 180 bucks, it's not a good deal. I'll have to hold on to the statue, find a place in a corner that I don't really have to see very often because I'm very displeased with it. Um, but yeah, if you guys are looking into buying something from Factory Entertainment, wait till it comes out before you order it. Make sure you watch a review on it. Advertise, obviously. Um, it looks terrible, it sounds terrible. I'm out 
Uh, out 180 bucks for this thing. I don't even want it in my collection because it looks like shit. Um, NECA is doing something right now that fucking blows this thing out of the water. Makes this look like dog shit, which it is. Please, guys, really take a look into what you're buying. But I really appreciate you tuning in and listening to me bitch for the last 15 minutes. So, have a good day. And if you have any questions, um, put a comment below. Thanks.